really really short video that I wasn't anticipating filming but I have just had two packages. I know what this one is, this is from Waterstones, I don't know what this one is. I have ordered another book. I've ordered two books, I know what this one is so you'll, I won't tell you that but I've also ordered Rain which is the fourth American Royals book but that doesn't have a UK seller. So it was coming from like Spain and I didn't anticipate it coming this quickly. So it might be that, but oh, I do know what this is. Oh my days. I'm going to make a separate video for that actually, because I do know what it is. It is an American Royals, but it is another exciting piece of post that I've been waiting for that no one else has. <laughs> okay. Okay. I know what this is. This is from Waterstones. So we're going to open this. I am very excited. Very. And I apologise for the, the state of my, my desk um, because I was not anticipating filming today. But, okay. Ready? Right. Before we do anything, let's get rid of this sticker. At least it was a sticker. <gasps> Ta-da! See my laptop's open. Ta-da! Yeah, I'm so excited. And I paid. So this is from Waterstones. Oh, look at the under. Oh, I love that. Oh, look at that silver writing. So the right way, no, that way. And on the inside, it's green with vines around it. This is what I paid extra for. The sign, it's signed. I knew as soon as she posted it on her, on um, the author Jennifer Lynn Barnes, as soon as she posted on her Instagram that there were Waterstone, Waterstones had a, there were the UK signed editions were coming from Waterstones. I went and pre-ordered my copy. Um, <laughs> I was so excited to read this. I'm going away next week, the first week of September, and I'm gonna take this with me and read it then. Oh, it's pretty, look at the sides, it's all, painted let me get the rest of them so i actually have two sets of inheritance games books i have these which i got from the works which were the they were the uk editions um and i love the spines on these i absolutely love them they look really pretty and then these i got off of tiktok shop and these are now the i think these are like the standard is issue well, these are the ones that are everywhere now um, because they fit in with this cover. So. Oh, they look so, they look so good. I'm so excited. I'm back. Uh, today is the 1st of October and I don't actually have the book I'm going to show you with me right now. Um, I'm waiting for it to arrive. I have the tracking open. Um, I am watching very carefully it's currently 2 23 and it should be here before 3 45 so hopefully soon um but i just thought i would explain the story of why this book and the delivery of this book has vexed me before it arrived um so i bought this book when it came out on i pre-ordered it a week before it came out it came on out on august 29th and i pre-ordered it and um it doesn't it doesn't have a uk distributor it doesn't have a uk seller um so it was coming from like spain or something i can't remember but um but it meant that it was going to take a bit longer and i was completely fine with that but come publication day the money for the book hadn't been taken out of my account and i checked back a couple days later and there was no news on whether the book was being dispatched whether it was like the order had gone through, I hadn't had any confirmation emails, I hadn't had the money taken out of my account, so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna cancel this order and I will buy it again. So I did, I bought it again. And this one, this time it said, I think this was maybe like the third, the second or the third of September. Um, it said something like it'll come like slap bang in the middle of September. Because it was then going to come out like slap bang when we were in the middle of our holiday, but I was like, 
better sooner than later, whatever. Um, and then it was just before I went away, like right at the beginning of the month, my mum got an email from Amazon saying that the book wasn't going to come until the end of October. I don't know why, but I was very annoyed. <laughs> um, but then yesterday she messaged me a picture of a confirmation email or something that she got from Amazon saying the book was coming today. So, so long as it doesn't come damaged, I will be completely happy. If it comes damaged, I I, I will lose it a little bit. It's here. <laughs> I don't know if I should show you that. Probably shouldn't. Okay. You can't see, but I've got the rest of the series out. I'm so excited! <laughs> okay, book number two of this unboxing video is Rain! Oh my gosh! It's so pretty, it's so big! So it's a bit banged up in this corner here, but that's fine. It's so pretty. It's like red and blue. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, so for those that don't know, Rain is the fourth and final book in the American Royals series. Um, I've loved this series. I've been reading them since it was just before the second book, Majesty, came out. Um, and to explain my the reason it doesn't have a UK seller, it used to. Uh, for American Royals and Majesty, there was a UK seller, but there weren't meant to be any more books after those two. Um, the, th the third and fourth books were a complete surprise. However, the UK sellers didn't... The first two books didn't draw enough attention in the UK, so they decided not to um, sell any more in the UK. Uh, so when you go to like Waterstones and other bookstores, um, you can usually find the first two, but you can't find the rest. The only place to buy them in the UK is on like secondhand bookshops um, online, secondhand bookstores online and Amazon. Um, and they are very expensive. <laughs> Most books come out hardback first. So I have a hardback copy of, Amer of Majesty that the, in the inside looks like this. So I have the f the second and the fourth in hardback and then the other three in paperback because for some reason when when um, Rivals came out it was available in paperback and hardback um, like to pre-order so I pre-ordered the paperback because I wanted the paperback. Um, Rivals is now available in paperback so I, I may, I'll probably end up buying the f the American Royals and Rivals in hardback um, because if they all have the same kind of hardback style um, they will look prettier than what the um, paperbacks look like at the moment because Rivals is a different size to the other three. Read this, I'm not sure how I'm going to take it after the end of book three but yeah yay it came and i will see you guys in a few days okay uh i filmed the clip yesterday with one of the books that i've got two books here to show you and i filmed a clip with one of them yesterday and then deleted that footage from my camera without realizing it so <laughs> today is october 4th and yesterday two books uh came out i'm going to show you the one that i had already filmed um first this because it doesn't matter, it's not an unboxing. They didn't come in a book. In in a book, in a box. Um, and that book is Wildfire by Hannah Grace, who's the cover. Um, yeah, I am very, very excited about reading it. I am reading, I have two copies. I have this copy, which I got from WH Smith. Sorry, it's really bright out. It's really bright out. It is signed, that is her signature. I very very excited about that. I am annotating this so I have all the pink, all the pink annotating supplies um, but then I also have this edition that it is the works exclusive edition um, with just it's just sprayed edges there's nothing else no difference other than that um, but yes yeah, so I picked those up yesterday um, and they didn't come in a box. The other book 
is this one. Uh, this is from Waterstones. Um, and I really wanted it to come yesterday, but it came today, which is fine. I am very excited about this. I have already read this book. Um, but I am so excited. Ah, I can see it already. Okay. You ready? Sorry, I'm having to hold the curtain in the way a little bit of the edges. I love it. Oh, oh, look at the inside. Oh, it's all blue. Look at the inside. Oh. So the only thing is it doesn't have the illustrations on the inside. That's the illustration on the back and pages. Um, yeah, it doesn't have the illustrations on the inside, which is a little annoying, um, but this is the only edition you can buy in the UK at the moment. Uh, so, but yes, but yes, this is absolutely stunning. I love it and I can't wait to put it on my shelves. But yeah, I will see you guys in a little while. So, number one. The last book for this unboxing video is here. Number two, I just finished Wildfire. You can see all of my annotations in it. I don't know how well you can see actually. There you go, there we go. I loved it, I absolutely loved it. It was amazing. I definitely think I enjoyed Icebreaker more. Both of the main characters have um, quite serious family issues in it. But other than that, the book felt just a little bit maybe too perfect. Um, the conflict that happened at the end of the book was resolved very, very quickly. Um, whereas in Icebreaker, it was a bit more drawn out, um, but kind of just enough. It wasn't too drawn out. It wasn't like resolved too quickly. Um, but I did really enjoy it. Um, I need to actually update my Goodreads. I'm going to give it a three star review. Um, I've gotten quite more serious with my my ratings um, so three stars for me does mean that I did really enjoy it um, four stars is kind of when I've I've loved a book um, and five stars is kind of like a life-changing novel you know um, but yeah I did really enjoy it but anyway on to this book I I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited. I've read it. I own two copies of this book, but this is a special copy. I can't find it. There it is. This is the Collector's, Waterstones Collector's Edition of Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. Oh, I, mean, I love it so much. Like I said, I own two copies of all three. I own two copies of all three books. Um, I only have one copy of Killjoy. Uh, but I own three copy, two copies of all of the others because um, one copy is, um, one set of copies is annotated and the other set isn't so that like I can lend copies out and I have a non-annotated set for myself. And now I own this beautiful, beautiful book. Um, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I love that the author Holly wrote like a note for the beginning of the book. So, oh, it's so pretty. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I don't know if like it's a mistake or they're just on there because of this, but on Holly's Waterstones page, there are collector's editions for good girl bad blood and as good as dead that i saw the other day so i don't know if they're like a mistake or if we're going to get collector's editions for them all if we do amazing i would love to have a collector's edition set of them all um i would totally buy them but if not i'm quite happy with just this this is beautiful i love it but yeah that has been this video we had what one, two, three, four, five books. 
um, in the past month, month and a bit, I think, month and a bit, yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.